In this video I'll be introducing you to ifconfig as well as teaching you how to release and renew the DHCP lease on an Ubuntu server. Now how likely is it that you're going to be using DHCP on an Ubuntu server? Not very likely. However, you do need to be familiar with DHCP uh, which is going to function through DH client in Ubuntu server. You need to be familiar with that so that you're well rounded in your troubles shooting. So the first thing I'll show you is ifconfig, which is the equivalent of ipconfig if you're familiar with Windows-based networking. It's going to give you similar output to ipconfig. ifconfig, or the interface configuration, is going to show you, most importantly, in most cases, your local IP address. That's usually what you're going to be looking for when you're typing in ifconfig. It's on the second line. Uh, in the ETH0 block, you can see there's also the loopback interface, LO, underneath it. But we're looking at ETH0. On the second line, you'll see INET ADDR, INET address, and then you see 10.0.0.16. This is your local IP address. It is your IP address on the local network. And we can uh, use this in a variety of ways, whether we're trying to specify a static IP and we want to make sure the server has that IP. If we're trying to address IP conflicts and we want to make sure that our server does not have a particular IP address. So it's always important to be able to find your IP and you do that with IF config, uh, IF for interface. Now with DHCP, uh, Ubuntu is using DH client. So right now my machine is using DHCP for its network connection. And if I wanted to release that, I would do sudo because I need root privileges, DH client, and then the R parameter followed by the interface that I'm wanting to release the lease for, in this case eth0. So eth0, sudo dh client, the r option for release eth0. Okay, you can see it does not take long at all. If I type in ifconfig again, notice how it's going to change. Now I no longer have an inet address. You see I have an inet6 address, but I do not have an inet address. I don't have an IP address right now, not an IPv4 uh, IP address anyway. And to get that IP address back, I would simply type sudo dh client, no options, and then the name of the interface, which in this case is again eth0. It does take just a moment there. We can type in ifconfig to see that it was successful. And of course, it assigned me the same IP address. Why shouldn't it? Because nothing's really happened with my router or any devices being added to the network. And I once again have an INET address, an IP address of 10.0.0.16. So that is how you release and renew a DHCP lease on an Ubuntu server. Again, if you're familiar with Windows networking, on Windows it's IP config release like that. And then if you want to renew, ipconfig renew. Here on Ubuntu, ifconfig is going to give you a similar output to ipconfig on Windows-based systems, but you're not able to release and renew using ifconfig. You need to call dhclient. You will need root privileges for that. So sudo dhclient. And then if you want to release the R parameter and then the interface. And again, that's for releasing. In order to renew, I know release and renew start with, they both start with R, so some people can forget which one the option specified for. But it's specified for releasing, and renewing does not require any option. That's how you deal with DHCP. We will certainly be covering static IP addresses in this course, as that is much more common.